I always say something. I always say, I always say, Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Bola Ahmed Tinubu is a dictator. Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the Jagaban. A Nigerian ceremony president. I always say that Tinubu is a dictator. People do not understand what I'm saying. And people is there saying, uh, people is there saying, uh, Shetima will be the one. Shetima will be the one ruling. Shetima will be the one saying what will be going on in Nigeria. Shetima will be the president, the acting president that Tinubu cannot do anything. I'm telling people the truth is that you guys don't really know. You guys don't really know Bola Ahmed Tinibu. Bola Ahmed Tinibu hmm? is a dictatorship. Bola Ahmed Tinibu is a dictator. And it will soon happen. You know? And it will soon happen. The way, the way it's going to happen is that Shetima will get provoked. Karen Shetima will get provoked. Your Nigerian ceremonial vice president will get provoked. And Shetima and Tinubu will have a crash. I'm crossing the road, the road so I have to be careful. Shetima and Tinubu will have a crash. They will have a clash, you know. Shetima and Tinubu will have a clash. A very serious one. Huh? A very, very, very serious clash. People, people underestimate Tinubu, you know. Because he's a hood man. The man uh, Oluchego Obasanjo cannot conquer. Obasanjo was there exaggerating. And uh, making his speech, moving here and there. The only thing, the only thing Nigeria will be free from the hand of Tinubu is death. If Tinubu died today, Nigeria will be free. But if a prophet come out and be telling you that Tinubu will die, that is not a prophecy. That is nonsense. If any prophet came out and be telling you that Tinubu will die, that is never a prophecy. That is nonsense. The more you are growing old, the more your grave is closed. So it's a living human being, he can die at any time. Because when they're born today, they die. The close of a man, when you know say they reach 90 years, they claim 72. You don't know that Tinibu is older than Obasanjo. He brings his age down just to make sure that he become Nigerian president one day. Tinubu, Bola Ahmed Tinubu is older than Obasanjo. Tinubu say he is 72 years. I got to his daughter platform. The daughter I give the, the father 76. So even the, the, the man or his daughter doesn't know his age. So if I did uh, the rain, Tinubu is not a man to toy with. Tinibu is an, is an dictator. And what Tinibu is coming to do is revenge. Revenge. He's going to revenge his brother's death. You know, say, there is something that will happen to your, your pal or your loved one. You will say, I cross my heart, I will revenge this, this your death one day. If I'm alive, it can take 30 years, 50 years. 
But that revenge must surely come. I will say people never see anything. The full and needs never see anything. Bola met Tinibuna at the say Shetima. Tinibu will be alive, Shetima, according to the Apple. Una, Una, no, no, the man called Chakaban. The man that came out and said, Emile Korn is my turn. Two days before May 29, two weeks before May 29, immediately in the month of May, he traveled to, two times out to buy the whites, to buy the westerners, to settle. The people that we kick against him, the people that we stand against him, the ICC, yeah, yeah, ISS, ICC, International Criminal, ICC, International Criminal Court. The man, even though the gods and the spirit predict, prophesy, and all prophecy was fail. You don't need to be told that such a man is principality and power. That such a man is if it is uh, occult, he is. He is in the high level ranking occult world. He has spiritual power. He has money. He has connection. He has power. So such a man, the only thing that can stop him is death. Only death. Only death that can stop him. Only dead. Only dead that can stop him. But in no distant time, Tinubu will have a serious problem with Shetima. Tinubu came to take revenge for what? Nigerian government due to Abiola. For what Nigerian government did to Abiola. Watch the uh, independence speech of Tinibu. Just go and listen to it. I watch it for some minutes and I just damn it, you know. Tinibu is coming for revenge. Tinibu is not a military man, yeah? But the mind when that man gets, you don't get him. Any person when do drug, any person that do drug, especially heroin, especially heroin, And in the, uh, the smuggle drug uh, to America or any part of the uh, Western world, it's not a man to toy with. It's not a man to toy with. Because the way the, 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 the judicial system in Western world, especially the country I am, Austria, the way they, they, they handle um, the case of cocaine. It's not the way they handle the case of heroin. Heroin, morph, uh, morphine. Heroin is more dangerous to it. Heroin can kill you, useless you. So anybody doing heroin, you don't need to play with that person. You don't need to play with that person. So this is a man I have. I have. The strategy. This is a man that has the strategy. This is a man that has the strategy to strike. Tinibu is a dictator. Don't underestimate him. 
As for Asari Dokubo, his time is up. Asari Dokubo time is up. <laughs> Asari Dokubo didn't enter one chance. Maybe he was one sustainable boy, it's not this position. They can use militants, they can use Boko around, they can use s men just to be causing problem. So maybe Asari Dokubo once worked for once work for Bola Ahmed Tinibu. So and I think this is the time for him to come out and be talking rubbish because I got the inside there, both the inside there. Asari Dokubo don't enter one chance. There's one thing I know about my country, Nigeria. You can play with everybody and go free. But you cannot play with the military. You can play with everybody and go free. But you cannot play with the military. Bola Ahmed Tinubu is a dictator. And Shetima, what did I do? You may see Banjo when Boari day. Osi Banjo no fit talk. Osi Banjo was just uh, a ceremonial vice president. This is what Tinubu is going to do with Shetima. Then Shetima will be grieved. Because if you look at Shetima's face, you know say the man eh, is born to be a wicked soul. It is true that you don't judge the book according to the cover. But Shetima with Tinubu will have a head a lock, a very serious one. Oh. A very serious one. A very serious one. A very serious one. The camp of Nigerian president between the vice and the, the president, the ceremonial president and the ceremonial vice president, they will have a serious air dialogue. Now escalate, eh? then it will be a very big problem. So do not underestimate Ahmed Tinibu. Do not underestimate him. Do not underestimate him. That man, <laughs> that man is, is a, is a, is a, is a, is a, is a deadly detector. It's a deadly detector. But when it will start to happen, people will say, I said it. People will say, I said it. Tinubu is going to have a very serious air dialogue with his um, uh, Shetima. He's going to have a very serious one. A man that know how to play games, use Muslim Muslim ticket to confuse the foolish Northern Nigerians, the foolish gullible uh, uh, Muslim Nigerians, just to make sure he pass his way. Because if Tinubu go for Muslim Christian, he will fail. He will fail. Tinubu is not the original Muslim. It's not Muslim po po politics Muslim. It's never original Muslim. It's just a uh, po politician Muslim. You will all see it. You will all see it happen. You will all see the head of law between Shetima and Tinubu in no distant time. Because greed will enter into Shetima and he want to be given order when the sitting president is there. And at that time, Jagabang will tell and say, Hey, boy, I bring you in. Boy, I bring you in. When I don't even know, I don't even know Tinibu mission. And I don't know Tinibu mission. Tinibu can wake up one day and Declare the one nation, sign it. Who will you be? Then there will be a very big problem between the Abusas, Nigerian, and the Oduduwas. I don't know that man when I play with them. 
Man, when the graves don't get close, he can do anything if you want them. All of us die. Everywhere scatter. His family is not in Nigeria. What did he lose? If a man costs war for Nigeria, he lose nothing. So if you are playing with Jagaban or Bola Ahmed Tinubu, I want you now to start seeing Tinubu as a dictator. Because it will start to happen. See what did they do? The Igbos. The way that they destroy the Igbo's property. But that one I will talk him for the next video because this video don't day long. I go talk him because our Igbo's too. If you if you suffer to make money, you not go and buy hundred by hundred or waiting on you reach hundred by hundred, twenty million swamp. Use uh, forty million, Tefila, you a fool. Because uh, ritual money or drug money, you don't suffer to make it, so you misuse it. You go buy land for Lagos. That one, I will talk about that one for the next video. For now, bye for now.